A mother's love is put to the ultimate test. To pride's battle. As an aging king reveals his master plan. Kitso readies his own forces. to strike while the tyrants are in turmoil. And take back the savage kingdom. work is never done. Her daughter is always hungry. She's built her legacy on the backs of Impala. But now she sets her sights lower, much lower. Pula's health is failing. One measly mongoose is barely worth the energy. But the aging mother won't even eat a bite. Everything now goes to her daughter. Matsidi is just ten months old. She still knows nothing of what it takes to survive. Pula has many more lessons to teach. But she's running out of time to prepare her daughter for the real world. The kingdom suffers under rotten rule. Commander Mamutsi still clings to power. For her daughter, La Sedi, life is easy. She is born into privilege. Entitled to all she ever needs. But it's never quite enough. Seti insists the whole clan bow to her. 
believing she deserves all the riches. The princess lords her rank over the lowborns. Give her an inch, and she'll take a foot. But La Sede treads a dangerous line. Blood is beginning to boil. Her abuse of privilege goes too far. Life at the top will be lonely. <laughs> Exiled by the hyena forces, the queens of the Western Pride patrol the outlands. The cubs haven't eaten in days. Ramohata, their so-called king, is nowhere to be seen. gift, a family favorite. They all need this. is too much to take on. But their hasty retreat leaves behind a newborn. This is our privilege. Not your lucky day. Even a meager feast is worth fighting for. And they are not the only hungry ones. A ravenous nomad sees an easy meal. The 
the queens will not give up their prize. No matter who stands in their way. Taking these queens for a soft target is a mistake. A big mistake. Western pride will protect their food and their family to the death. No second-rate drifter is going to replace their absent king. Pula has all but given up. Her weakness makes her and her cub vulnerable. she used to stand and fight. She can now only run and hide. She's afraid of every shadow. She's barely able to care for herself. Let alone her daughter. faces the hardest decision of her life. Are you better off without me? Sidi's sake, Pula leaves her precious daughter forever. <laughs> Family is everything.
Under Kitso's rule, the Makulu pack is thriving. The dogs are busy building their own dynasty on the outskirts of the kingdom. Eight new pups. They are the pack's future. the hyenas reach until they are ready. They will learn soon enough. Life is not always fun. Violent vagrants are on the rampage. Get to the den. Now. Safely underground, the pups wait out the storm, while a brave decoy draws fire. for one, and one for all. The pups pass their first test. Follow orders and you will survive. Unity sets the dogs apart. The queens of the Western Pride make the most of a passing fortune. But yet again, the scent of their success attracts rivals. The Matata Pride, led by their arch enemy, Seha. The queens of the Western Pride are ready for a fight. Their nemesis will not take what's theirs. But the last thing they expect is Ramohata. 
Their king is back. But now he's with the enemy. Ramahata returns to the Western Pride with a whole other family. His double dealing secret revealed. Both prides are his. He conspires to claim all the females and build the largest pride in the kingdom. Seha instructs her cubs to join the feast. But she won't play happy families. No one wants to share. Only Ramohata's all-powerful presence keeps a lid on the boiling tensions. The rival prides have no choice but to accept this new arrangement. But Seha has now had enough of Ramohata's rule. Matsidi has no idea she's been abandoned. She still waits for her mother to bring back dinner. Finally, hunger drives her to find her own food. A reed buck? She wouldn't know where to start. But a mongoose? This is food you know. Suddenly, everything seems out of reach.
Matsidi's new reality comes crashing in. She's all alone in a big, bad world. Matsidi's childhood is over. Kitso leads a tactical strike into the heart of the kingdom. He knows the risks, but he has a plan. It takes no time for the tyrants to find them. Usual suspects take their tax. Let them have it. Kitso has what he came for. He's testing the hyena's defenses and now knows when his new recruits are ready. they will have the numbers to take on tyrants. Just you wait. Every bite builds strong bones. Time to accelerate their training. Soon, the 25 will fight as one. And finally break hyena rule. Commander Mamutsi is greedy. And selfish. Stealing food. 
from the rest of her clan. No one will find it here. But every tyrant has their weakness. A chip off the old block. Lassedi knows her own mother is holding out on her. What are you hiding? Lassedi's entitled curiosity reveals her mother's secret. Mamutsi can't contain her daughter. Wow. <laughs> Lassedi creates chaos. Wow. She's out of control. It's all about her. <laughs> Taking what she wants every time. Trust and bitterness now run rampant. The spoiled heiress couldn't care less. But Mamutsi knows bad blood is an army's downfall. Resentment. is a ticking bomb. The Matata pride will not join Ramo Hata's other family. They're better off on their own. Seha built her house from nothing, holding on to riches when no one else could. She is a worthy queen. Ramahata wants heirs as strong as her. But Seha won't have a second-hand king. He treads lightly to win her over.
even playing the doting father. But he should not get too comfortable. Seha will tolerate him. For now. For the sake of the cubs. But there will be no place for this scheming old man. In her empire. The Makulu pack is ready. Their fearless new soldiers are desperate for action. Eager to prove their worth. Scout is the chance they've been waiting for. This is the enemy. Show the spy what you've learned. Dogs will dismantle their enemy one by one. The pups have what it takes. Now is the time for Kitso to lead them into battle and end the tyrant's bloody reign. is fading fast. Her strength is all but gone. enemies raise the alarm. But they can see she is no longer a threat. With the tables turned, they will show no mercy. Just let me rest. But 
But there is no peace in this wicked world. Cruel dawn finds Pula beaten and broken. Her decision to leave saves her daughter's life. But hers is done. great ruler of the forest. Now, just a ghost. Pula's time in this world is over. Matsidi now carries the weight of her legacy. A heavy burden for young shoulders. She must fight her own way through this cruel kingdom if she's ever to claim her mother's throne.